right, so uh, I'm going to talk about the absolutely most uninteresting part of laparoscopic uh, uh, liver resections, only because I was asked to give this talk. Um, and, and I, I want to make sure that you understand I'm concentrating now on hospital costs, not on physician. I'm happy to answer any questions you have on the physician surgeon side of things, but um, for the talk, I, I'm going to focus on, um, on the hospital side. So um, in uh, looking at the literature to see what was available, um, I found uh, two papers. Uh, one was this paper, and the second was uh, one of uh, Alan's previous uh, uh, papers in the annals. And uh, this was uh, a group uh, in England, so right away I think the financials are a little bit different, uh, being the type of medical health care system that they have. Uh, and what they did is they actually, uh, it was a different way to calculate costs. What they did is they reviewed uh, the resource utilization, and then they went to some national or regional data bank that they have that can put a pound value on each of these utilization measures. So this was not measurement of direct cost by the institution. So they have a database where they know that one day in what they call the HDU, which I think is like our ICU, is worth X number of pounds. And so the cost data that's reported in this paper uh, is based on, on that methodology instead of direct costs. And uh, what they did is they compared laparoscopic to open. And uh, you can see the length of stay, the ICU stay, the ward stay. Uh, those were all statistically significant. Uh, interestingly, uh, with uh, you'll see some of the our, our data. The uh, OR time was not different between open and laparoscopic. Uh, and then they looked at uh, things like morbidity and, and blood loss, uh, how, what percent used the Pringle maneuver, uh, and resection margins. But from, uh, from my perspective, being interested only in the cost, this was the table that was uh, important. So uh, when they looked at OR time, uh, they did not find any uh, difference in cost. And you would have uh, surmised that because the, the time wasn't different, so therefore the cost especially when it's a uh, unit cost for the entire region, is not going to be different. Um, and then they looked at the disposable instruments, and this is exactly what you would expect, that the disposable instruments uh, are going to be uh, more costly for the laparoscopic procedure uh, than for the uh, open procedure, and this was statistically significant. Then they looked at ICU costs, and uh, it, was, it related to the length of stay in the in intensive care units, so it was more expensive uh, for the open. Uh, then they looked at the ward stay in the total, and the bottom line was that uh, in this methodology analysis, there were certain things that were more costly and other things that were less costly. But in the, in the aggregate, uh, when they compared laparoscopic versus open, they actually showed uh, an economic advantage to the laparoscopic procedure. So uh, if I were reviewing this paper critically, I would say this is a bunch of hogwash. Uh, number one is you're using a totally false methodology for collecting costs, and uh, you, you can't, you're comparing apples and oranges. Or in this case, you're probably comparing uh, apples to some vegetable. So uh, this was the paper that we published. Alan, uh, who's here now, was uh, the first author on this. And uh, this was uh, a large series that was presented at the American Surgical. And as part of this paper, uh, we did a uh, financial analysis. And I